Chaos Gunners Collective TV. Back at it, you already know. Like a motherfucking smack addict. Bye, 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 bye. In a main noodle style and a direct fashion, we're going to get straight into the content of the day. But before we do, let's hit that like and subscribe button. Ding! Put your notification bell on all so that way you're directed in the direction of the dope content I am kicking. And I highly appreciate all the support, man. We continue to go up on this channel. Man, and thank you. I appreciate it. I couldn't do it without you, and I'm very humbled. So, um, you know, a discussion came up the other day. Someone got at me in the DMs, and they left. Uh, I don't know if the message was intended to be respectful or uh, to check me or whatever it was, um, but I respect it, man. I respect the man speaking the words that he spoke, um, definitely, because everyone's entitled to, you know, express their opinion. But in that message, and it was on the video I think I'd done of the indictments that just happened in Merced, uh, the Operation Red Rooster, you know, where GB, the rapper from Merced, was snatched up, you know, along with the rest of the fellas. And it's unfortunate, but it happens, you know, when you're in the game like that, or they think you're in the game, allegedly, you know, then you're going to have to go through some willings and dealings and some shenanigans and bullshit. At the end of the day, he's going to come out shining. Um, I don't believe he was as heavily involved as they think he was, um, but I think it's just a name. And usually in indictments, everybody is subject to get questioned. So, you know, however it plays out for him, I hope it plays out with his best interests at hand because he's definitely putting Merced on the map. Now, this, this DM that I got, this message, was I consider this to be someone who's probably a friend of GB's, a personal friend. Definitely someone from my city, my town, man. Um, that had something to say about something that happened a while back, about two years ago, and expressed it. And in that message, he said, hey, Gun, you know, you get a lot of respect. We respect you and everything. Um, but when is GB going to get an apology for you pulling up to the hood, man? That shit was scandalous. Basically, that shit, that shit was uncalled for. You shouldn't have did that, right? Um, and then I replied, you know, I did pull up. Because people were like, there's no way Gunner pulled up to GB's hood like that. Um, I did, and I respect him, and it was done with a, a level of, at that time, um, I guess pride and foolishness, but I will express my apologies, and I'm going to tell you exactly what happened that day and why I pulled up and what the intention was. So when I first came onto YouTube, burst on the scene, I was getting a lot of support from a lot of different people. Um, I never once uh, sugar-coated my intentions or what I was doing on YouTube or my status within the gang. You know, I never faked it till I made it. I never did the Wes Watson or even some other YouTubers that will constantly tell you they're active or they're part of something that they're not no longer. See, I'm a man. And what a man does is a man is transparent and a man will tell you exactly what it is with them. And my status within the gang was there was no longer any. Okay, I was no longer participating in that whether it was by choice or because I am not allowed to, that's just what it is. Once you step back from the group, the gang, the organization, you no longer are welcome unless you buy back in. And of course, um, I'm not going that route. And the reason I'm not going to ever do that is that I, I'm no longer in a position to do that. I can't afford it. Um, and I don't see the merits of that or anyone who would do that, what they're going to get out of it. You're still going to be on frontline status. You're still going to be considered a poop butt. You're still always going to be that guy that had to buy his way back in because he couldn't hold his shit the first time. That's just the way I see it. To each their own man, respect to the homeboys that are doing it. Um, if they're true believers and at this point in time believe that they want to be part of the Reindeer Games again, ponle, get yours, right? Not me. It's not for me. Um, but that doesn't mean I'm going to disrespect him. Thing. But when I first came out on YouTube, I was a little heavy handed, Okay. I was a little outspoken and boisterous, and I guess I was a little young acting in the way I displayed or, or held accountability on my channel. I didn't hold myself accountable. I held everyone else accountable, and I was wrong for that. And so, in the midst of doing that, I voiced my opinion on how I felt about this change in this new era of Northenuism, the way that a lot of these young Northerners were carrying themselves, acting, dressing, um, all that, right? And in doing so, you know, I rubbed, uh, I ruffled a lot of feathers. I rubbed a lot of people the wrong way. People felt like I was doing uh, 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 basically degenerate characteristics. I was poisoning the gente. I was trying to make them look bad as young Northerners striving. And that's furthest from the truth. I would never, ever do that because I know what it is to go through the struggle for the cause, right? 
So a lot of people read me the wrong way and they chose to dislike me, especially people from my area. I think I get more hatred out of the Central Valley, the 209 area than anybody else, just because that's the area I'm from. I know what it is. I know how they conduct themselves, how they react to shit. So um, automatically, Vaultus from the you know the Central Valley, you can't even speak my name out there. They're like, what, you fuck with that fool, right? And there's a lot of people, hey, quietly as it's kept, that respect me, that like my movement, that like my push. But at the end of the day, I understand what it is. I'm not a fool, right? It takes a fool to know, uh, but I'm not that much of a fool. So um, there was a, a little bit of back and forth between myself and several of the well-known rappers from the Northern California area. One of them was GB, who's actually from my town and city, and I knew of him. Prior to him getting caught up, caught up, prior to him being a rapper, I knew of him. Did I know him personally, like kicked it every day? No. Was I in the county jail when he was there? Absolutely. Did I know certain things that other people didn't know? Absolutely. Should I have put certain things out there the way I did? Probably not, but I did because there was a back and forth there. There was basically where I felt like he wasn't showing me the respect that I had earned within the town. Because regardless of what anyone says of my status within the gang, those that are from my town know what's up. You know, there was a lot of poop butts that didn't know me that were like, oh, he was a tweaker. Oh, he was a punk. Oh, he was this and that. But where were you at when I was putting in all that work or I was doing what I was doing? I was very well known out there in the town. There was a lot of individuals that were hiding under fucking blankets that didn't, A, that were rather itchy but didn't, didn't comfort you, right? There was a lot of individuals, man, that knew what time it was in that in that carruch that I was in that would not even dare step foot into the boots I was wearing or what we were doing at that particular time. You know, I'm not saying GB was that. GB was still young. When I was gangbanging and I was in my mix, in and out of prison, in and out of the youth authority, things like that, he wasn't functioning at that level yet. He was still a kid. He's very young. I'm about to be 46 years old. I think he's in maybe his barely turned into his 30s at that. Still probably in his 20s. He's a kid. Um, but he blew up off his rapping. And he know he's well known in the town for what how he steps. He is a certified stepper from the town. I'll admit that. I respect it. You know, When he first uh, started going at me, we were going back and forth. And I don't know who started it. I'm not here. But I'll, I'll take the blame, man. And I apologize if I, if I ruffled feathers, like I said. And I'll apologize if I was the one, man, to instigate the bullshit or... I. If I was the one to be put in a position where people felt like I was instigating it, I truly wasn't trying to do that. I wasn't trying to disrespect the hand there, the youngsters. And I'm not doing this out of fear or I got checked or someone. I'm doing it because it's the right thing to do. See, I'm a man. And you change as you get older. And you realize the error of your ways. And sometimes you have to double back to clean some shit up. And to express a, a, a respect that I've always had and let people know exactly what it is. So I apologize to GB. I apologize um, to any of my homeboys that felt like I'm trying to play shit out of pocket. Those who really know me, know me off camera and know what it is. And I think it's a lot of the shenanigans and the skits I do and a lot of the things people think are J-Cat activities that they feel like, damn, you're from our area, homes. You're from the 209. You're making us look bad. But I'm really not. See, I'm lightweight in my own way, putting us on the map, doing things that others are scared or will not do or have not done yet. Right. And GB is the exact same way. He's using his rap talents and his skills to put the town on the map. There hasn't been very many people out of Merced. I think I can name three out the town, maybe four um, that are really put it on the map. One being, of course, that guy Dopas Yola, who has a banging podcast. I watch it from a distance. Um, he's, you know, representing the town well. Myself, there's no doubt about it. GB, the rapper. And of course, Paperboy, the rapper, because we're trying to do the itty ditty because we want to, right? A lot of people don't even know he's from the city of Merced. And uh, I actually had interactions with him personally. I've told those stories. But, um, you know, when I was beefing or going at it with a lot of people, man, um, I felt that I had to clap back. I felt that I had to, you know, go above and beyond to show I ain't no punk. See, once that's instilled in you and you always have that, it's hard to let that go. It's hard to be walking down the street and someone kind of look at you and you know they're mugging or they got some chip on their shoulder. The way I grew up, the way I was laced, it's hard to say, just turn around and, and just let it go. See, nowadays I could do that. Nowadays it's whatever, man. Call me what you want. Think I'm a punk or a sucker, bro. Um, but just don't find out, right? Let's just not take it there, bro. I'm just going to keep on pushing. I'm not going to listen to the noise. 
I got my own shit going on. I got my children. I got my rent to worry about. I got so many other things, man, than to worry about if a guy's fucking looking at me sideways. It is what it is. There's always going to be people looking at me sideways. And their old ladies are always going to look at me sideways, too. And that's just how that's going to be, right? Um, but I've grown up. And I understand that, you know, there's a lot of people that are on a different level of life. And they might quite possibly not have, are in the same fucking, you know, level that I'm in as far as on, I'm on my man shit, man energy, right? I just, I just got priorities and things to take care of. And that's what I'm focused on. You know, I'm not focused on the gang bang. And I did that. I lived that whole life in that era. And I could tell you, I have nothing to show for it, but battle scars, battle wounds, and a whole bunch of war stories, right? Um, I'll be it, man. Those war stories have been good to me telling my stories on YouTube, whether you believe them or you don't, that's up to you. But people in the town that know me know what it is, right? There's no doubt. That's why that guy prefaced that with we, a lot of us respect you, your get down because they know what's up. Just like I know what's up with them, man. There's a lot of love there. You know, it's just unfortunate that politics and what's going on now in our lives, we can't show that like we once did. That canalismo is lost. When it comes to me but i understand that right and i'll never forget it you know i had a lot of good times and a whole more lot of bad times it just is the part of the game so gb um we were going back and forth and he actually i think it was an album cover or a song cover where he was posted in front of mac park now let me that's his neighborhood now let me explain i was around when his neighborhood was started i've told that story before back in the days exactly who started his neighborhood how they started it um, and how the interactions with my neighborhood where I was from, you know, there was just a lot. It's basically like one neighborhood split into different sections and how some of our homeboys decided to go on their own and do that. And they did that. And it's blown up over the years, whether it be because of the work that they're putting in, how they're holding it down. You know, it's a younger neighborhood, meaning that there's a lot of youngsters that get involved at that level. And then eventually some of them back in the days used to basically get into my neighborhood. It was kind of like um, the stepping stone into my neighborhood, right? Not that they were a triple H, a minor leagues to a major league. It was nothing like that. Um, they grew up to be very major, okay? A lot of these youngsters stuck with the boys and, and they represent well in the town. Now they're starting to get their own indictments. Now they're starting to be focused on by the feds. Now it's getting ugly for them. So they're going to understand exactly what we felt for years, you know, in my neighborhood. Um, but I knew GB to be a boy, allegedly, right? And um, what his get down was. And I'll bet there was always that level of respect there. I just felt I had to grit my teeth and not show it because, you know, I felt like these guys were disrespecting me because um, they called me a D.O. And you're fucking all your bullshit stories don't count and you ain't nothing. And that's hard to a hard pill to swallow when you're in the town from where I'm from. You know, Merced, we're not a very big town and everybody knows everybody. Everybody knows who's put in work. Everybody knows the history or you should. And my name is engraved in that history wall, no matter what, how you try to chisel it out, homie, you're going to need a deep chisel. That's just how it is, you know, and, and there's a lot of homeboys that have done fell off, a lot of homeboys that have done backed up for whatever reasons. But one thing no one could ever say, man, is that I was out there fucking pointing fingers at everyone, bringing the hood down, getting people indicted, doing all that. I never did anything like that. You know, hey, I went to prison, man. I didn't like what I seen. There was a bumping of the heads. There was a red on red and I'm out, right? And that's just how that is. I'm on the outside looking in, okay? And now I got to look over my shoulder like an oldie song, but that's fine. I can get with that program. I've been doing it for 10 plus years now. So it, it's going to be like that. I did that prior. I'm going to do that after, you know, when it comes to GB, we started beefing and then there was a song that was put out um, called War by the group Red Alert, Young Iggs, Asito, uh, baby Facewood, I believe was in it. Rico too smooth. And of course, GB and in his line, in his, in his part of the song, he, it was pointed taking shots at me. You know, um, there's a lot of people now, nah, bro, you're trying to take the, the credit for that. No, no, it was, um, straight up. I've been told by people close to his camp, homies that still fuck with me. And, and it was, it just was right. Because he was feeling some type of way. Cause he felt that I disrespect him. But I think it was a lot more people instigating the shit. Trolls, other people that were basically hating because we're from the same town. They used to be like, oh, bro, GB ain't shit. You're the one putting on for the town. Or, man, GB's putting on. Why are you trying to steal his shine? Or this, this, and that. Hey, Holmes, we just happen to be from the same city and we rock like that. It's just what it is. He does music. I do YouTube. 
it'd be like that sometimes. I was never against him. Hey, quietly as is kept, he's from my town. They know how we rock. I'm always with them. Active or not, right? No, no questions asked. But um, <clears throat> I felt it disrespectful. So he did a, 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 a song or an album and he showed a picture of Mac Park. Now, there's a substation in that neighborhood. And you got to understand, I've been going to Mac Park. I used to sell dope at Mac Park. I used to function at a Mac Park. It's right outside of my neighborhood. It's basically the west side, right? Right off 12th Street. I used to be over there on buy rights. Every, all these songs that GB talks about eating at buy rights, you know, which is now like a Chevron. And he has it tatted on a buy rights. That's our old school hood store. We have the dead end store. We have buy rights. We used to go get the hot link at buy rights. We used to post it right there at Mac Park with the old school brothers, the McNamara Lynch mob selling dope, man. It was so dope infested and so gang related back then. You're going to find red finals and crack fucking everywhere, right? Just look around. So it got so bad there. And this is pre ghetto boys. This is pre um, the establishment of their hood. Their hood started um, in the early nineties, right? Um, or maybe, no, actually it started in the late nineties, like 95, 96. And no, it started in 96 because I was around at that time. I was out of YA. So true stories, right? Um, what happened was there's a substation that set up shop right there, a cop station. And, um, GB had did an album cover where he took a picture in front of the substation, basically letting them know, like, Psh, we out here, bro. And ain't nothing going to stop it. Right. Basically, a slight diss to, to the, the Merced Police Department. Let them know just like, hey, we're so hood, they had to put a fucking cop station in our hood to shut the shit down and, and the shit's still rocking, right? Um, <clears throat> when he did that, there was a lot of disrespect going on. And I think a lot of it was fueled, like I said, from outside noise and from people talking shit one way or the other, saying that I was talking shit about him and vice versa. When GB was just on his making music, setting up his store, his shop, whatever he had going on, and I was more so on trying to get my channel established. And there was some words spoken back and forth. There was some shit put on Instagram that I seen that I felt some type of way. My pride, my old school mentality kicked in. So that particular day, what this incident this guy's talking about, about me pulling up to GB's hood, it wasn't like people think. I didn't pull up looking for GB to fight or to assault him or to do some bad shit, right? I was cruising through the area. I was chilling at the homeboys in the Bay. We were in the Bay. Um, we took a little ride down south, Southern California, LA area. Um, we happened to be on Highway 99 cruising back through Merced. And the homie was like, damn, bro, I've never seen your neighborhood. I hear you talk about it, do spills on it. Let's cruise through there. Well, why not? Right? So we went through my neighborhood and didn't see too many people out there. It was daytime, man. Not early in the morning, probably middle of the afternoon. People were mowing lawns and doing their thing. It was summertime, about June, right? A couple years ago. And um, we cruised through, and I'm showing them, hey, I grew up right there, homes. This is the homeboy's house. This is where the homeboy grew up. That one story I told happened right there. This is the hood. And then as we're coming back, he asks me, hey, where's GB's neighborhood at? I said, shh, let's bend a couple of corners. I'll take you. It ain't too far. So as we're pulling up to his neighborhood, I see a whole bunch of paisas playing uh, soccer and doing what they do. You know, at the park, there's some families out there. Um, I'm sure there were some homies in the area. I didn't notice, right? I wasn't tripping. I wasn't on that time. Um, so I, all of a sudden in my mind, the spiteful way of thinking the the bullshit ways that I was thinking at that time, I was like, look, I'm going to shine on these cats. I'm going to go in front of the substation and flick it up and take a picture just like GB did to show them. Not that I was in his neighborhood posted up, but to show him, man, it ain't shit that, that, that motherfuckers ain't really out there pressing. Like you're saying, that's how I felt at that time. Right now, there's no disrespect to the boys because the boys are about the business. As you can see, a lot of them got caught up in the Operation Red Rooster, right? Um, so there was no level of disrespect when it meant to the neighborhood because um, I've always liked them guys, right? Uh, it was more so a personal thing with GB. If you could do it, I could do it too. You're not the only one putting on for the town. And so I did it. I took the picture. I posted it up. And a lot of people felt a certain way about that. You know, and there's a lot of people. Uh, let's take 6 9 for instance. He'll run up in a neighborhood at 2 in the morning, take a picture and say he was there. Um, this was the middle of the afternoon. I wasn't hiding. I just got off the truck, took the pictures real quick, jumped back in the truck and got to pushing because I ain't stupid, right? Um, I wasn't out there hunting, looking for him, uh, trying to cause chaos or controversy. That wasn't it. Um, but I did get back home and I did post the picture, um, high sighting like, hey, homie, I was there. Now what? Okay. That I apologize for. I apologize for two things. First, first of all, Going into a neighborhood, because that's disrespect to them, 
They didn't deserve that. They had never done nothing to me. If anything, I had a lot of homeboys and continue to have a lot of homeboys from the boys that I respect to the fullest. Second, um, G I shouldn't have acknowledged GB's disses back and forth. For one, I know now that it was outside interference. It was basically trolls and people pumping it up. See, I didn't realize that at the time. And I'm sure he didn't either. Um, also, um, I was still new to this. So there was a lot of things that I wasn't understanding. And I thought, you know, showing off and acting tough and wearing the jewelry and doing all that was part of the game. When at the end, man, it has a reverse effect. It makes people not like you um, for the person you are because you're faking it. You're trying to be someone else or trying to show like you have more than them people. And that ain't cool, man, trying to high side and, and shit like Wes Watson does, you know, showing the mansions, the Lamborghinis. That's cool, bro. Enjoy the fruits of your labor or the fruits of other people's labor that they've given you. But don't ever try to high side on the little people or the people that don't have it, man, because ain't nothing little about this shit. Hard workers are my heroes. People that get up every day and go out there in the trenches and really get it. Not gang banging, not rapping, not YouTubing, but people that are out there really striving. That's the hand that I fuck with. That's the backbone of the people that I do this for, right? Um, so when the homeboy brought this up the other day, that I owe an apology. I don't owe anyone nada, okay? I don't owe anybody nada. I made sure of that, homes. I don't borrow nothing from anyone. I don't live off anyone else's shine. I try not to owe anyone anything. The blood I've spilled, my blood that's been spilled, Holmes. You know, do I feel like it's something's owed to me for it? Charlie, Holmes. I put myself in those positions. Um, but as a man, I will apologize because I made some stupid moves, some mistakes, some things I shouldn't have done. And I'm not doing this again out of fear or because I'm scared of retaliation or, you know, someone's going to come in my front yard and take a picture. I... None of that means nothing to me. What does mean something to me is as a man, letting people know I was wrong, you know, and not being afraid to admit that. You know, GB, um, from everything I've heard, is good, gente. You know, he's a solid homie. He's doing his thing. And he should never be brought down by someone that's no longer in that life um, because I don't understand what that life is nowadays. See, the life has changed. When I was part of that life, when I was doing my thing, we had certain rules, regulations, uh, politics that we adhere to and follow. Things have changed since then. Okay, not much, but slightly. And slightly enough for me not to understand some of the things these youngsters are going through. You know, when I first came out, like I said, people might have took it as misconstrued it as I was hating on the young northerners. I never was. I was only trying to uplift and understand what was going on and what was different um, that I didn't, that when back in my days when I was doing it. You know, and I guess people didn't like that. So um, for those that are like, because a lot of people were on that, they got on that thread and they were like, ain't no way gun pulled up. Gun's too scary to pull up. That's the runner. He ran away. Man, run the numbers up. Let me tell you about the runner. Meet me, the road runner, right? I, you know, I don't think I wasn't running up on people back in the days and don't think people weren't running up on me. I've been through both sides of the coin through all that. I know what it is, right? Did I pull up to that neighborhood? Absolutely. But you got to understand, I don't see it as GB's neighborhood. I see that as streets that I walked before GB was born. See, I was around doing it a long time ago, man. Everything that these youngsters are doing in the town now, I've been done it, flipped it, and reversed it, right? Um, you know, I know people don't like to hear that and they hate that, but the truth, the truth is the truth. It can't be, my history can't be taken or erased. It just is what it is. Um, do I want to disrespect anyone and, and shine more than they do? No. Do I want to get my respect? Whether you give it or not, man, I respect myself. I can look myself in the mirror and know what I've been through and what I'm going through. And that's it. That's what matters. But I do want to express an apology to GB, especially with what he's going through now. I wish nothing but prayers and the best upon him for himself and his familia. And uh, keep rocking. Keep supporting his music. I do. I bump it every day. That Banksy song, that motherfucker goes. Let's take a trip through the West Side. Right? <laughs> yeah, hell yeah. Let's take I did. And now I'm doing this spill because of it. Um, but yeah, for those that were questioning whether I did pull up and what were my intentions, my intentions were just to take a little flick, man, to show that I, too, am a man. And, and that's about it, man. And uh, it was, what was it a stupid move? In hindsight, probably, you know, the level of disrespect, I could see it. Um, would I do it again? Probably not, not without checking in and, and being like, what's up, right? And maybe taking a fade or two um, because of it. Uh, you know, I know other people are, will, will talk that high-power shit off. We see you. We're going to smoke you well. You know, hey, do your thing, homie. If I'm worth life in prison, then I guess I'm worth life in prison. 
you're not to me, right? So with that being said, I hope that you move smooth with a purpose. That's the true story. That's what happened. Um, did I pull up to his hood? Yes, I did. But not like people are trying to say it. Thumbs up, thumbs down. Heavy's going to be the head that wears the crown. I'm going to continue to strive, struggle, struggle, and strive for what I truly and honestly believe in. And that's the betterment of all people. Let's keep this channel pushing, man. Let's keep GB's music pushing. Right now, man, he's going through some shit. He needs the support of the gente, right? Instead of focusing on, damn, gun, you pulled up here, or damn, this or that, or this and that. Support the lost ones. Support the ones that are going through the struggle, man. That's what happens. This is what makes people fall off and drop out and do all that. Because Balthus get locked up and it's like, okay, I ain't fucking with them no more. They're out of sight, out of mind, man. Those are the ones that really need the help. This is the gun. Bang, bang.